Hey, welcome back to Hacknet. My name is Dr. Knot. Let's continue with the account, Dr. Knot version 2. We're gonna jump right in. Don't need to say any more. Let's just do it. Ah, beautiful green. I love it. I love it. Okay. So, here we go. The CSEC invest... Nope. Invitation, not investigation. Alright, greetings Dr. Knot version 2. The CSEC group is in an invite-only group of talented hackers and digital security experts. We offer substantial knowledge and resources to exceptional individuals to create a community of shared learning, information, and progress. A member of our group has extended an invitation for you to join our organization. As an administrative detail, we'll require a small demonstration of your abilities and knowledge in order for you to be accepted into the group. To continue, please reply to this email with your pa uh, with the password you will find associated with your name on one of our test servers. If you have any difficulties, we recommend you consult the Network Education Archives. Congratulations and good luck, CSEC Administration. And we have that there. So we have to go here and we have to find the password that is associated with our name. So, let's begin. All right, we've got a firewall and I don't think we've We have done this once. We have done this once. I have to remember what it is. I think it's analyze. Analyze. I just keep doing this as far whoops. Until I can solve it. I think one more will do it. K. R, so let me see this. K, uh, solve. Oops. Solve. K R A. The Kraken. P N A. A N. All right. So that's down, and then we just need two here. So we'll do the SSH crack, and we'll do the FTP bounce. Once we want, and I think I have to wait because I like to have my notes there. So we have to wait. I don't think I'm ever gonna memorize the order of everything like this. It's just, I don't know, for some reason. This doesn't stick with me, so keeping it open is how I do things. I have to wait for this to be done before I can scan OBS. Ooh, I found, what did I find over here? SEC, uh, SEC, -E or SEC, -E what? CSEC gauntlet number two, so we'll, we'll check that out um, in a moment. I don't like how these are all... I wish I could move them around. Ah! Back here. Alright, we might have to go to that one to see. Continue to link server to advance to the next stage of this test. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... Okay, so let's remove these. Then we gotta go to the next stage, which is the CSEC Gauntlet 2. So if I just... If I don't disconnect, I think I still have to do everything here, right? Yeah, so let me just disconnect. That shouldn't... Yeah, I shouldn't lose the link here. Or does it? No, 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 okay, I was gonna say what? What? All right, now we got a proxy detected, so let's go to all our other places and shell up the place. You know how we do this. Hey, Jacob's e-phone. Can I shell you? I can. Cool. I don't even know who I'm who I'm shelling. We're just gonna go there and do that, and then we're just gonna overload it. Maybe I should probe first. Wink. Oh, we're already. It doesn't even matter. Okay. Prep that to get through the proxy. We'll close these and we'll start that. And then it's the FTP bounce again 21. I could do the SMTP thing, but meh. You know, you know what I mean when I say meh? Exactly. Port hack this. 
and I'll be ready to scan just to make sure. Oh, there's a third one, these little... Let's see what we got. Test. Continue to link server to advance to the next stage of this test. Okay, well, let's just check around in here if there's anything. They're just going to be communicados by people. Data. Oh, look at that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I don't know, is that every number? Probably missing one. A little Easter egg for someone who decides to check all those, but... That will not be me. Let's do this. So you never know, maybe they're like, hey, you didn't remove all your files, therefore you are not going to join our exclusive club. Let's connect there, connect here. What you got for us? Oh, a proxy and a firewall and three things to crack. Dang. Okay, what is it? Analyze? Ugh. Faster, you! Analyze faster! I'm gonna have to leave to... Let's see, K-U-N... What? K-U... N-A... Kunkka? What? What's that? Alright, un momento, I have to like, you know, shell these other things. So hopefully, I don't know if that thing's still going over there or not, you know. We can disconnect. We should, we should have proxy. Let's see. I hope the firewall has been solved. Okay, fine, so we can overload now. Oh, and it restarts? Oh, easy peasy. And then I'll, of course, start with this again, SSH Crack 22. We'll start closing things when we get about to the end here. Yeah, close, 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 close. Go. SMTP 25. Son of a... Takes up so much space. FTP bounce 21. I mean, we're fine time-wise, so we can always disconnect and come back and do all that. It's like exhilarating for a second now. Whoa! What's gonna happen? Oops, I got a port hack first. Damn, it's taking a sweet, sweet time, isn't it? I get another one? I don't think so. File system, home, test. The invitation password is ABX07CC9. We're made random. ABX07CC9. Okay, cool. I'm gonna come back here. Yeah, there you go. See? Check the gift. Web server worm. Uh, what I need to do is SCP web server worm. Take that, thank you. Empty. See, once we're. Once we hack everything, we disconnect and come back just to look at the files. It's like, yeah, we don't care if we do that. We're not gonna, we're not gonna trace you. So. But now we took the web server worm, which I don't recall what that does. But we have our password. And that's what we need. ABX. I think that was a 07, right? CC9. I can always check. Cool, we're good. Just uh, exit out that one. Dr. Not, version 2. Well done passing the automated test, not everyone manages it, which kind of makes you think, why were they invited in the first place, really? So you're on to round two, which means I get to make something up, which means something fun. I've got something good in mind for you. Shouldn't be too easy, either. 
want you to break into the CFZ servers and find me the 11 secret herbs and spices. If you can get a hold of the list and upload it to the CSEC public drop server, I'd be more than happy to let you in. Good luck, paper. CSEC admin. Okay, so it's not a KFC, it's the CFC, you know? And that's the public drop server, so gotta remember that. Everyone loves chicken. 22 bucks. Colonel's Food Corner. Okay. Cool. Can we scroll over? No, we can't. Exit web view, so let's probe. Do these guys have a trace on it too? We'll see. No, that's not too bad. So, I think the one that I picked up is the web server thing. Web server worm? Is that what that does? Let's see. Oh, yeah. And we're not being traced either? That's nice. Oh, I should maybe close this. Obviously the 11 secret herbs and spices is not that, you know, confidential if they're just letting anyone hack here without even trying to trace us. You know what I'm saying? It's easy. So we got the corporate mainframe. We'll check here just to see what's up. Server structure, web admins. Remember that this server is exclusively for front end content. All company files should be hosted on the more secure mainframe and internal servers. This server maintains a link back to the mainframe for updating and maintenance purposes, but it modified this configuration. So the other one might be actually hard to get in, you know? That's the front page, I believe. So we've got what we wanted here, which is linking to the other mainframe. So this one might have the trace and all that, so let's disconnect here. Let's actually spell it correctly. And go here, and let's get ready for it. Ooh, all of them. Okay, let's start from the top. There we go. So let's see how long this takes us. And I realized I could close my notes and probably do multiple at, at the same time, but meh. Again, you know what you know what I mean by man. Look how long this trace is going. These aren't even seconds. This is like one trace unit per it's equal to like three seconds or something. Can I get the crack to fit in there? Ooh, look at that. Two at the same time. Alright, so we we let's keep this in mind. FTP server and SSH crack can go at the same time if I don't have any more notes other than that one open there. Cool. Alright, port hack this. We'll scan. Once this is done, because you can't scan and port hack at the same time. So we got the records, that's what we want. I'm thinking, that's what we want. Training files, new employee welcome email. Okay, this is not the, not what we're looking for. Oh, here it is. Many new employees will question the secret formula out of curiosity, or blah, 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 blah. So, yeah, I'm not gonna read this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab it. Is it SCP? Is that just it? Yeah, so I'm just copying it there. I'll have to, I'll have to relearn how to, um, oh my, transfer it to a new place. Media Kit 2011. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think I care about all of this. Even if we did, we can come back here pretty fast. So let's just remove ourselves from the log and disconnect. And we'll go to the repositories. I think that's what, you, what we want right there. And I'll just put up all the files into the uh, drop server here. All right, so analyze, let's go. Let's 
shit. Gotta wait for the previous analysis to be done before I do that. Sometimes I just get too excited, you know? I think it's chicken. And then let's do the web server worm at 80. Go that one first. And SMTP power flow 25 secundo. Oh, we're flying through this, actually. The first time I played through this, I think it was like episode 11 by the time I was at this point. So we're just... It's like it's clicking with me the second second time through, even though it's been a, a, a little while. It's kind of nice to be able to um, do this, you know? I don't think I want that. It's, maybe we got what we wanted? I don't know. Let's just remove ourselves here, and let's just go deposit it and see. We'll go back to our computer. I'm not going to disconnect from this. So what I'm going to do is go here. Let's read this. Okay, many new employees will question the secret formula out of curiosity because they wish to be more involved in the company. Unfortunately, the formula is far too important to give out to all workers, especially given recent employee retention rates. And as such, it is protected. The combination is sent to stores regularly in unmarked white plastic bags and should be mixed with the frying batter as directed. As for the management, even they cannot be given the formula. In fact, only two people in the world know the formula at any one time, and they are expressly forbidden from traveling in the same vehicle at the same time. Rest assured that the formula for a protected chicken is carefully produced and ordered and is a very well kept secret. Okay, so. I want to move the file to a destination. Moves current working directory to a specified folder. So we're going to see how we do this. Okay, so we come over here. Ah, uh, here we go. You are authenticated to open file. For open file uploading to the server, use the upload. So we're gonna go upload, and then 11. Now it's downloaded SCP or downloaded to home or bin for executables. Uploads from there need to be the path. So it's gotta be home, 11, there you go. Okay, so let's see if that one suffices. I don't know. Because technically I don't have the actual list, but let's see. Did that work? No, it doesn't work. Okay, we'll have to go back and grab it. So it is somewhere in here. Ordering segregation guidelines. Seasoning mix orders need to be separated to two separate companies um, who each provide half the mix. New Mexico facility combines spices one through six. Local Kentucky facility mixes remaining five spices currently. Two separate deliveries should be mixed at CFC distribution headquarters and placed in unmarked white bags for franchise level distribution. Paired bags. The seasoning mix are sent to franchises where it is combined with a flour, powdered egg, dried milk, and salt breading mix in order to create final product. This ensures no digital copies of the secret recipe are ever distributed to their enteritis. So if I want to download this one, seasoning order uh, guidelines. Ah, uh, there it is. So I need to take all these. So here's okay. SCP seasoning. Nope. Can I spell? Seasoning order placement template part one. Whoops. Shit. I didn't add the doc to it. Seasoning order placement template part one. There we go. And SCP seasoning. Order, placement template part two. 
There we go. And then we go back to here and we go upload home seasoning ordering template no placement template part one and upload home seasoning order placement template two there we go all right that should do it i gotcha all right cool Dr. Not version 2, nice one. I've actually had to dig around on their mainframe before a while ago and couldn't find it. Props for tracking it down. It's quite the entrance you've made for yourself. I'll take the opportunity to formally welcome you to CSEC. Everyone here knows what they're doing, at least to some extent, so you should feel right at home if you found that last job easy. I've attached your new login details to the hub server. From there, you can pick up contracts, download new code, and generally just use it as a home base. I'll stay in touch. Go pick yourself up some new programs from the stash as a congratulations present. All right, let's grab these things. So we got that. I'm gonna add that. Asset server. I'm gonna add the account information. So we should be able to just log in. That's the contract hub. Here's the asset server. Can I just, wait, 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 wait. Can I just log in? Yeah, I was gonna say. So what do we have in here? Before we go take some assets. It's just data, I don't care about that. Death row database, I don't care about that. SQL memory corrupts. So what's this? SQL memory corruption injector is a targeted exploit for public facing SQL ports. Default number 1433. It injects a table entry that, when read, causes a memory corruption error in the database and immediately queries said table, causing an immediate SQL database crash and or dump. This will temporarily allow otherwise unauthenticated, unauthenticated traffic on the SQL server port before the target OS cleans up the dying SQL connection and restarts the server. The program when in display mode will output its operational status at the top, and the SQL server output, ideally a memory dump or the injected entry, underneath. All right, give it to me. And then we have the web server worm. And then the sequencer, which I don't remember what that does. But we're gonna take it anyway. All right, cool. And then I could do all these cool th themes, but I like this green. I don't need it to be mint teal or blue. I don't know, maybe this is mint. No, I think mint would be a cooler green, you know, like a lighter green. A blue green almost like a teal but not quite okay so I think we're doing well I'm gonna disconnect and we're going to check out some CSEC contracts next time and go from there and actually can I do any of these no come on why not all right I'll keep checking CSEC Contract Hub will be our next mission. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you then. Take care. Bye. -bye.